Hey, what's good, y'all? I just thought that I'd come here and just uh, fill you all in and give you a little update on what's really going on with me or what's been really going on with me. I haven't really had any um, any takeoffs with the, uh, with the bullying project, so I'm still working towards that, hoping to get some people to come in and just, um, you know help out, voice their opinions, and so on and so forth. Um, and so I'm still working towards that. Other than that, you know, I haven't really been doing anything. I've just been sitting around. I haven't been doing cooking videos or nothing like that because, you know what, I just feel like there's certain things that I'm mostly interested in most other than doing cooking videos and stuff. I love cooking. Like right now I'm doing Top Ramen. You know, that's, if you want to call that cooking, that's not really cooking. That's just basically a meal, a small meal prep. And that's what I'm doing for the kids. But um, back to the, the bullying thing. I want to just continue to um, speak upon that and continue to try to make something happen with that so parents can feel comfortable about what it is that they want to talk about or what they want their child to um to do while they're in school you know because like I said we all know that there's kids in school that have friends and kids in school that don't have friends and for the kids who don't have friends it's literally usually they're always walking around alone or either they're always alone and um throughout the whole day you know so they don't have no friends in class they don't have no friends on the yard they don't have no friends none and that's lonely so we need to figure out how we're going to stop that okay so i'm in fairfield california okay and i am looking for parents whose children go through bullying children might have a hard time in school there's kids that be in school and are being bullied so much they don't tell their parents they come home either these are the symptoms these are the, not symptoms but these are the things that you need to watch for when your child when your child is being bullied when a child comes straight home and don't want to be bothered with anybody siblings mom dad nobody and just go in the room they might look at tv for about a good 10 15 minutes but for the most time they don't settle in they won't take off their jackets they won't relax at home but what they'll do instead is lay in the bed okay and they'd rather sleep that's that's number one sign of depression because us as adults do that when we don't want to be bothered and we're depressed what we want to do we want to sleep and we want everybody out of our way so um that's what you can watch for um and then also when they're just really really aggressive no matter what it is you could tell them pick up their jacket and they will scream and yell not to the top of their lungs but like really out of anger out of frustration they will scream and yell that um that they were going to do it or you know why is why are we being aggressive towards them when we're not being aggressive towards them um what's another thing that you want to look out for when you're dealing with kids that um, are depressed or being bullied at school, don't have no friends. Uh, just pretty much, they don't have no, no no thrive. They don't want to do anything. They just want to sit around and they wonder. And their minds go completely all the way to another world because they're trying to figure out what is it that they've done wrong? What is it that they can do right? Why aren't is anybody why isn't anybody being their friend um so my thing is this because i have a child that go through bullying and majority of my kids did go through bullying i went through bullying i've had so many people come to me and tell me that they've had uh, bullying experiences as a child as an adult as well and we want to try to to clean that up. We want to try to make that to a point to where it don't even exist. So what we need to do, if you have a child that's in school, excuse me, and the schools are not doing anything to make this better, but just hoping that the kids will stay out of each other's way, then that your child don't need to be in that school, okay? Because that lets you know that the school is lazy 
and they don't want to help, you know. And I'm going to keep on saying this in all my videos. My daughter used to go, my oldest daughter used to go to a school where they had a zero tolerance for bullying. So therefore, if they, if, if your kid went to the school and they were experiencing bullying, what they would do is they would, they would gather up the bullies, their friends, and they would gather up the kids that were being bullied and their friends. And even if you didn't have nothing to do with it, if you were friends with them, you had to go in and they would sit down and they would all talk about what's going on. They just grab it and don't make, don't interrupt me while I'm doing a video again here. And um, they would all talk about what they were doing. And um, you need to, be, hey, LaShot, I don't know what, what you thought you was about to both go and do, but you about to eat these noodles because you guys asked for them. So anyway, he thought he was about to, he thought he was about to walk off mad. Anyway, um, what they'll do is, uh, ooh, they'll um, bring the kids in and they'll try to get to the